Hello everyone, welcome back. So it's happened, the big 6-0. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm going to be 60 in this vlog and then after that I'm never going to be 60 again. This is what I keep telling everyone. I'm 60 for my birthday and then after that I'm going to be forever in my 50s because I think that's the way we need to think about it. I just find it all so daunting reaching 60. But I have had the best weekend. I've been so spoiled. This all started on April the 1st. I guess it was an April Fool's on Dee's behalf. She threw me the most amazing party. I did find out about it. Um, I think it must have been a couple of days before and it was just so panicky and emotional. I didn't even know what I was going to wear. I wished I'd have filmed some of it actually. I know some of the family have got some on film so if there is anything decent I'll throw it up through, through this vlog. But it was just so lovely. People that I haven't seen for a long time. Dee really did her homework and worked really hard on this party and she she is still recovering too. Bless her. But anyway, let's let these 60 balloons go. Bo hates them. She comes in, she'll, she'll start growling. She really doesn't like the balloons. Um, right, you can disappear as well. We're not going to be 60 anymore after the next couple of days. But look at the flowers. So many bouquets of flowers. I've, I've just been absolutely absolutely spot rotten and people that really know me um i've got two bottles of uh the original miss Dior, which is absolutely fabulous i shall be wearing that for the next year or so at least um it has just been lovely look we've got the big 6-0 cup i might have to hide this one So I thought that's how I'd start off the vlog. I've not done my hair today. Not done it, not touched it. I've just brushed it. I don't think the Dyson is going to go back. I'm really getting used to it now. I mean, it's not looking at its best, but I have not touched my hair today and I could get away with this. So it's just a really easy day for me today. I'll barely got any makeup on and I'm just gonna have a really restful day. I'm gonna get these flowers into vases. I don't, don't know where I'm gonna put them all. Um, but look how beautiful they are. Really, really beautiful. So I'm looking forward to doing those. I've been spot rotten with money and presents and it's just been, it's just been wonderful but not wonderful reaching 60, I will say that. I don't know, I, I'd, this is the worst one for me. I thought 50 was bad enough, but hitting the big 6-0, you think I've got to really make the most of life now, I think. I think you need to be as positive as possible. There's things that I want to do. Um, I'm, I'm not one for going abroad a lot, it's difficult with my allergies, but I do want to start going to more places in London, I want to do a lot of afternoon teas, even though I most probably can't eat the afternoon tea, I've thought about this a lot, you know, um, going for afternoon teas in, in the top hotels in London, and I could phone them and tell them what my allergies are and they would most probably say please don't come to the restaurant. I have actually had that quite a few times. Uh, I have had to sign disclaimers before now going, going places because of my allergies. So 
I'm going to book these afternoon teas and not even mention my allergies and then whoever I go with will get to eat the whole afternoon tea and I will just sit there drinking my tea and I will still love it because I want the experience it's not about the food it's about going and seeing the place the atmosphere the china what that you know I like to look at food even though I can't eat the food, if that makes sense. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do this year. There's a few people that want to come because they know they're going to get double. <laughs> uh, I really must talk to you about my allergies sometime. I know I keep saying it. One day we will get that film out the way. But yeah, I'm going to go and get these flowers into vases in a minute and crack on with the day. I, I think it's going to be a feet up day, watch TV, do whatever I want. Oh, Bo's crying to come in. Come in, you can come in. Bo, come. The door's open. Come on. She cries like a baby. She's going to see these blooms and not like it. She's actually been really funny about the Dyson because it's new and it's touching me and she's thinking, what are you doing to my mum? Oh no, she's, she's okay. She's obviously got used to them because uh, she was really snarling at them yesterday. Anyway, cheers to being 60, ladies. Um, what can I say? I'm just grateful that any of you would even want to follow 60 old me, you know. This channel, I can't tell you how much I appreciate everyone that comments and follows and gives me the thumbs up on this channel. It makes me get up in the morning. It makes me feel alive. It makes me want to do things. So if anything or anyone that is going to keep me as young as possible it's going to be you lot i can't tell you how much i appreciate it really i don't want to cry see even getting emotional about you lot now but yeah it's you lot that keep pushing me forward now and i'm really enjoying it the, the thought that someone would want to follow me <laughs> and I know I can be a bit boring and a bit slow but you do and I love it you know you all come back week after week to comment and it's it's just so lovely anyway I'm gonna shut up now being soppy and go and get some vases let's put these flowers together right before I do that let's do outfit of the day plus the dog so it's the Ralph Lauren shirt it's actually not raining today which is so nice uh, I've got on a camisole a t-shirt underneath and then the shirt over the top I've just left it out loose I absolutely love this shirt and I want to get as much wear out of it as possible so yeah I've got that on today I love this I'm going to be wearing this a lot once it gets warm it's such a fine material I don't even know if they're available anymore they might be sold out um, trousers these are very old they're Reese skinny trousers I have loved these and the um, shoes that I bought last year these are back in stock I don't know if you've seen that but they sold out like hotcakes last year. They're so comfortable. Look, they're getting worn already, these ones, because I literally wear them all the time. They were a good buy from Marx's. Must do a new M&S haul soon, actually. We've got a lot coming up. I've got a new in haul. I've got an accessories haul. I've got a new lot of artichoke coming, which I'm really excited about. And then I think I'll do uh, a Marx's haul and Rio has. I was, do you know, I actually wore a top from Rio has for my birthday. If I'm hoping I can get a clip of film to 
to share it with you because I think it was £15 that top and that's what I wore for my 60th but it just felt right I wore the Rio Hess top and my H&M trousers so you know I didn't go overboard on spending any money for my 60th birthday party outfit I didn't have time for a start but I was just really comfortable I need to try and find a clip otherwise I will just throw it on and take a quick picture but yeah I was really pleased with how it looked right let's uh let's go into these flowers hmm, I don't know that right let's do these flowers I've had to face you a different way the sink's right over there um because the light from the back door is just making me all dark anyway in the background Bo's towel for her muddy paws and uh, the gate we always have a gate shut if anyone knocks on the door because she gets very excited and I do worry about her knocking people over or you know it's just handy for me to open the door with deliveries and because she would be out that door if she could be trust me Anyway, let's uh, do these flowers. I'm going to do these ones first. Look, lilies and roses. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to put them in a round vase. <laughs> There's a lot of flowers to get through here, ladies. A lot. I don't know if I'm, I think these ones I'm going to put up in my room. They will be lovely up there. They're so fragrant as well. I need a little bit cut off. Got the secateurs out this time. Goodness, look, they look beautiful. So beautiful. They're going to go up in the bedroom. They're going to go up in my room. I found these in the shed, ranuncular bulbs. I've never grown them. These are a year old. I'm wondering if they would still come up. But I really want ranunculus this year. I might even go to a garden centre in the next couple of days and see if I can get some. But these are um, weird looking bulbs. They, they look like spiders, but it says you have to soak them for four hours before planting. Have any of you planted these ranuncular bulbs? I'd like to know. They're definitely one of my, I think that ranunculus and peonies are just beautiful flowers. I want lots in the garden this year. Oh, Let's get them. Morning everyone. Well, it's not morning. It's about 11 o'clock. <laughs> I've had, this is actually a few days from um, the last time I filmed uh, on my birthday. Hello. She's getting bored. She's due a run. You can, I, I try and take both for a good run every couple of days because I rent the field. If I rented the field every day, it would cost me a fortune. But she does have a good run every couple of days. And you can really see it if she doesn't have her regular run. She gets mopey and depressed. I swear she knows the days. 
what are you up to anyway just wanted to pop on it's beautiful a beautiful beautiful day out there we are forecast a lot of rain but yesterday um one of our friends and a good friend dedicated his whole day to jet washing my decking yesterday all of my garden is decked i'm going to take you down there in a minute and see it so yeah it was all jet washed yesterday and it was lovely it, it's looking so much cleaner and fresher and i'm ready now to go and get some plants and start potting everything up i've just got a potted garden it's no biggie you know i just like to keep it simple but it looks lovely when it's done and that, yeah so that's what i've got going on the, the last few days since i filmed on here they've just flown by i've had visitors i've had presents turning up some um i got a really big um new umbrella for the garden you know the one of the ones that go up and over so I'm really excited about that. Someone's coming round to actually fix it to the decking, I think, tomorrow. So, yeah, the garden is coming alive. I'd like to find a mini greenhouse, but not a plastic one, a proper one. But if you imagine the old phone boxes, I'd like something about that sort of size. If any of you know of one, let me know, because... Uh, I would be able to fit something like that in my garden and it would work perfectly but anyway I have news I thought I'd come up here because tomorrow it will be too late the love of my life desk is just about to be dismantled I've got a chair coming tomorrow for this corner and I spoke to you all about it um, a couple of weeks ago what to do about that area because I just don't use that desk at all I've used it once since I moved into this room and it's just it's in the way it's in the way of the of opening the door it's in the way of the cupboard when I do any filming I have to move it to this end of the room the puffet has to come to this end of the room and it's it's just too much um, it looks lovely but it's just not practical at all so I thought I'd just find a nice chair and I, I saw one on sale and I thought I am going to have that chair so I've bought it and it's coming tomorrow but I'm still a bit sad about dismantling this desk it's got a lot of good memories this desk right from when I first well I, yeah I started vlogging around the time that I did the, the first room with that desk so it, it's, it holds a lot of memories and it, it's been a beautiful piece of furniture so and it was very costly so um, I know it doesn't look like it it looks like a piece of Ikea furniture but it's not it's actually a garden table it was a lot taller when I bought it and I had the legs cut down to to the size I wanted, wheels put on, uh, I ordered the glass top for it, that was just as expensive as the table. But yeah, it's been a lovely piece to work with, but it's just redundant, it's redundant, so that's a shame. So I'm going to take you downstairs and we'll have a look at the garden. What else do I have to tell you? The flowers, um, let's take you off. The flowers are still going pretty strong. This is the worst bouquet out of them all. All the others are still like new. These white roses, these white roses have been lovely. Look, they still look quite fresh. The lilies look fresh. The pink roses, they just, they've just not last. I've tried putting different water in and the, um, the lilies have really irritated D. I've I had the bowl on there, but um, I had to move it away from the door because it was really affecting D. Uh, what else have we got going on? I've got the the hall from uh, Artichoke, and there's some beautiful pieces in there, ladies. So 
in the next week or so that will be up i'm excited to share this one um yeah what else can i say the dyson yeah i'm getting on well with the dyson i've not touched my hair today i have literally not touched my hair today and i still like it's the body for me it's all about the body i'm really enjoying it i know it's not looking its best today because um, I'm going to be in the garden now moving pots and bits and pieces. I'm not too bothered. But yeah, I, I like it for the body. I'm just getting used to it now. I'll share with you what I've got on today. The uh, Ralph Lauren dress from Country Aspire, was it? Country Attire. I have... I've been wearing this a lot ladies. I've still got a petticoat underneath. I've tanned the legs. I've got the Saint Tropez tan on. It's so easy to use. Um, but yeah it's just such an easy piece to wear. And I know Country Attire did restock this dress. So I'm hoping there's going to be some. And I'll link it down below. It's a beautiful piece. I've been really pleased with it. Anyway let's go downstairs and have a look at the garden. It's so lovely today, really, really lovely. And there you go. The patio is all done. I'm so happy with it. Really, really happy. Um, got some bits going on here. Let's see what's coming out. All these pots have got to be moved around. They're not in their original place. This rose is a, it's a white one. It's just a cheap one that Dee bought me from Tesco's. But that's uh, come into life but it's not looking too great but I'm sure it'll have some lovely flowers on it soon it needs a little bit of a prune um, the trailing geranium is just coming up that's purple flowers and then we've got the uh, this is the grapevine just starting to come to life I actually got grapes on this last year Dee's just bought a weeping willow, um, so that's got to be potted up. Now this was a bit sad. I've got two geraniums, and uh, this one is still in a pot. And it's just not done anywhere near as well as the other one. Actually, I'll show you the other one. So this is the other one and it's just, it's actually planted in the pot but look at the difference on the growth, totally different. The yucca, look this needs a good hoover, I hoover them with the Henry hoover, it's full of leaves but that's getting really big. Um, we've got a little lonely, uh, what are these called, grapes, something I can't remember what they're called. Oh look, there's two there, just coming up as well. Um, this is a tiny miniature training geranium that comes out pink. The helibore, this has been a beautiful flower. No, and I've still got buds coming on there now. I planted this, oh, I think a couple of months ago now, and it's been really lovely. I hope it comes up next year because I've really enjoyed it. I've also got another helibore that's not flowered at all. I'll show you that, which would be this one. I've got this basket. I got this from Ikea, and it's lined so you can use it as a plant pot. So this is the other helibore and I've not had one flower on that helibore what else have I got in here I had some tulips but they've gone and what are the, I don't know what these are called but bunny rabbits or they grow quite tall so yeah but they seed everywhere the agapanthus coming up in this old pot this pot was brought back from Spain when I was four years old and I can't get the plant out because I actually want to 
take this plant pot indoors because uh, I worry about it getting broken, obviously. Very old, like me. And I've got the olives. And look, can someone tell me how to get rid of the grass? Because I've tried everything to get rid of that grass. I've covered it in stones, all sorts. Then I've got a bay, two bays. That olive needs to go in the middle, actually. Yeah. All the pots have been moved around. And here's the umbrella. It's absolutely huge, but it's going to be beautiful for when I've got the table and chairs sorted out. Now, these hostas, these were actually mums, look they're all coming up, I don't know if you can see the spikes of the hostas coming up, but the two eldest pots, they've, they've just broken with the bad weather, so I've got two, oh the ducks are going past, so, and this one, so I've got to go and get some pots this week to sort that out. Got a peony coming up, so that's doing well. Another rose, this is a rose bush that mum bought me. Um, it's a David Austin rose. And it's the baby blush pink one. It didn't do very well last year. I don't. I need to read up about roses so that I can find out how to look after these better. And there's some yucca stuck on there. That's it, I'm going to get in that garden and move the pots around and do the best I can. So I will speak soon. Morning everyone. There's no sun, but at least it's not raining. I'm going to pop off to the uh, garden centre this morning with the daughter um, to get to replace those broken pots. I'm quite looking forward to it actually. First garden centre trip of the summer. Um, I've got my foundation on, that's as far as I've got so far. Look at the hair though, I've not touched my hair yet this morning, I washed it yesterday and it's nearly passable which is, that never happens, I have to do it every day, normally put the rollers in every morning and it's actually quite smooth but it's the body, using this Dyson I'm getting so much more body. I know it's not curly, I'm going to have a little go over it in a minute before I go out. But I just wanted to show you, I'm, I'm really pleased. Um, I've got the new chair as well, so I'm going to show you in a minute. Also got my cup of tea. Cheeky Mare, Cheeky Mare cup of tea, it comes with a lovely saucer. I've had this a couple of years now. But I've got so many cups and saucers and they're just sitting there in the cupboard. I collect cups and saucers. Why am I not using them? So that's a little bit pointless, isn't it? So I'm going to start using my cups and saucers. I've got my foundation on. I've just used the My MII foundation. I'm just going to do very quickly. Uh, go through my makeup. I'm just using the Code 8, the favourite, the one that I haven't found a replacement for. But close, I've had some good ones that I'm using a lot, but I just thought I'd put this on this morning. So, the new chair arrived. I have to say, I was very sad. How can you be sad about a desk? I'm having a really emotional week. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, but yeah, I was really sad taking it down. And I feel like I've opened up a real 
can of worms ladies you're gonna have to give me some advice because I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing what can I say um I love the desk not being there I love that I can get in the door easier because you know let's face it it was taking up a lot of room that desk and it was such a pain in the bum yes Laurie you keep talking yourself into it uh, it was such hard work to keep moving around to film the clothing holes I'd have to roll up the rugs because it didn't like to move about on the rugs and it was just hard work to have the desk in there you know considering I haven't used that desk since I've moved into this room but oh it's very bright what's going on Well, at least you can see the true colour. Um, what was I going to say? I'm all out of salt. I'm going to get my highlighter. Yes, yeah, so I've dismantled it. I've dismantled the desk and I've stored it for a little while. Just in case I change my mind. <laughs> I'm driving to nuts, especially with the bedroom. Um, and I'll just see how I get on but the new chair has arrived and I love it I love the new chair I'm really pleased with it but it doesn't go with everything else in the room and this is what I'm saying about opening up a can of worms so I don't know what to do now because if I keep this chair in here other things are going to have to change um so it could turn out quite costly and that's making me feel a little bit guilty but on the other hand as i said to my daughter this morning i do all my filming in this room i talk to all of you in this room most of my content comes from this room and I've had those furniture pieces for, it's got to be nearly four years now. So we do a refresh, I think. But both the desk and my pink buffet cost a lot of money. That pink buffet is our spare bed. And I might have to get rid of it. And I'm feeling sad about that as well. But it's just not working. Um, let me know when we have a look in a minute. Do any of you go through decorating dilemmas like me? Oh goodness. Like I said, I feel like I've opened a real can of worms. And I don't know what to do. I'm on the dregs of my Studio 10 uh, bronzer that I like to use as a contour. This bronzer is absolutely amazing ladies, you need to try it. There's no sparkle in it. I mean Studio 10, they make makeup for everyone but they certainly keep us more mature ladies in mind nothing worse than too much sparkle and then I'm going to go with my vanity lipstick from Codate the one that I developed with Codate it's a weird shape now because I always use a brush but it's still available if anyone want if any of you want to buy the lipstick you have to call to purchase it because uh, you can't purchase it online you have to say the name vanity and uh, 
they'll make it up for you. It's actually specially made in, in the Codate store. Actually, I'll leave the link to that film below. That was a lovely day out. I feel like I haven't been to London for ages. I really feel like I need a good couple of days out in London. Dee's actually in London today on uh, hospital appointments. And... Uh, I could have gone but she's not staying up there long and she's got a rush back so there's no point in me going if we're not going to have time. I need to try and find a couple of cheap hotels or a travel lodge and have a good couple of days up there. My Zion Park's open now, that's my favourite spot and I can't wait to go. I'm just going to add the pink from, this is what I use on my eyes so I'm just going to add a little bit of pink there oh that's a little bit too pink we're going to have to blend that yes that's nice that's it I'm going to get the Dyson out and then we'll have a chat about this chair right nearly all ready to go look I have <laughs> I have big hair, 10 minutes on that Dyson. I'll put some hairspray on because it's really windy. But, um, yes, big hair. That will settle down in a minute. But I am loving it. Look at the body. It's just unbelievable. Um, this is what I'm wearing today. The jumper from Glassworks because this is perfect for now. It's such a lightweight knit. And I love this grown-on neckline. Um, the Marx's trousers. Balkin belt. It's very monochromatic, isn't it? And the ZZ Hills shoes. I'm not going to put heels on because we're going to a garden centre. These have got block heels. So that's going to be very, very comfortable. But yeah, so I just need to get a blazer. Actually, I'll do that right now. I've gone for a cream blazer. I've not worn this for some time. I can't even remember where this come from. It's actually a little bit small for me, this one. Look, it should be fitted there. But it's lovely. It's not lined, but it's wool and it feels lovely on. Um, I need to try and think of where this used to be from. And I'll see if, well, if I can't find it, I'll link something similar below. It's been a lovely blazer. But anyway, should we talk about the chair? There it is. Let's spin you round. So here we are, ladies. This is the chair. Do you like my little makeshift table? I've got to, um, I've got some unboxing to do with you, definitely. But yeah, this is said chair. I, I really like it. I love the frame. Uh, the cushions are washable. This is from Dunelm. Again, I did say I can do <laughs> I can do some damage in that store. But I do love how it looks. And it's so easy to move around as well. I think it looks nice. Um, up against the shoe drobe there it's very comfortable it's so easy to move and yeah so that is all i need to move to get into that storage cupboard but yeah but it doesn't go with this it's just completely changed everything i think um i'm not sure about the puffet and the stall so there's a lot to be Oh, that's the rubbish men just turned up. 
excuse the noise ladies yeah so this is what it's like and I just think it's all too much what do you think ladies uh, um, I think I can definitely fit in a nice little side table there but what do you think about the pink colour and the cream I, I just I just don't know and then we've got the grey stall and it's just all a little bit too much I think so I'm thinking maybe get a new cream rug and get rid of the puffet and then I, I'm at my leisure to use all this space when I'm filming. I, I really don't know what to do. Let me know your thoughts ladies. But yeah, I do like it. I think it looks nice. It's just too much with that pink puffet. I think this um, is called Bed in a Box. It cost me over £500. This lifts up. That is actually the headboard when the bed is out. But you know, like I said, I've had it for four years. It's getting a little bit grubby now. Do I want to keep it? I, I just don't know what to do. Yeah. Right. Oh, I think the daughter's just pulled up, so that was good timing. I'll see you in a bit. Super pretty. Two ninety nine, not a bad price. I'm gonna see if I can find some ranunculars. I'm after. Oh, what's that there? Is that ranunculars? I think they're yellow though. Yes. Oh. I really want some baby pink. Don't know how much they are. Four ninety nine. God, that's quite expensive. I've just bought a plant a lot, a ranunculus, a lot bigger than that for five pounds. But if I can find a baby pink one, I'm going to get one. Some lovely. Oh look, I like this. That's pretty. Four ninety nine. Hmm. Mum used to grow these a lot. All the rockery plants. One pink ranuncular, although it's not baby pink. Quite a bright pink, but I liked this little setup, so I'm going to buy that. We've chosen some pots, hopefully, they're frost proof. I think they are. There's some really nice pots around. I actually like all these modern ones, I think they're so lovely, but it just wouldn't fit well in my garden it's too natural but these are all good and they're half price yeah lots of pots to choose from morning everyone 
that was a lovely day yesterday with uh, the daughter it was nice to get those pots now I need to get my gardening gloves on I guess and get some done oh here she comes <laughs> Yes, honestly, you wouldn't believe how many times I have to clean these wardrobes. That's it, you make yourself comfortable. I don't know what she's going to do if I get rid of this uh, puffet. What is she going to do? Anyway, let's get to it, Laurie. Um, I'm going to do the beauty pie unboxing with you that I promised a couple of weeks ago and then that film got really too long so I thought I'd put it in here before um, before I go and this vlog will be too long otherwise. <laughs> I've got so much, so much to share with you ladies, um, yeah, I've, there's, there's just not enough time. Anyway, outfit of the day. Look, it's a shirt. I've not got a camisole on. It's quite warm. I'm so happy. I've been dying to wear this shirt. Uh, I featured this in the new in-hole. I think March's new in-hole. This is from Bowden. It's absolutely beautiful. It's available in white as well. And to be fair... It is nicer in white as well, but I've already got a white blouse, very, very similar from um, Brora. So, yeah, it's a bit pointless for me to get another one. But it's just got so much detail. Look at the cuffs. They're so pretty. And let me turn you round. This lace work on the, on the front is just beautiful beautiful it, it wasn't expensive and worth every penny ladies i've pinned that um because it's just too high for me otherwise i just don't like it too close around my neck so yeah that's what i'm wearing today um i've got the jeans on from I don't know if these are the Hannah Montana. I know they're the secret stretch. They're blooming comfortable. I know that. These are from Artichoke. If you remember, I've got a beige pair. And they're just such lovely jeans. The denim is really, really soft. They've got a lot of stretch in them. They're quite expensive, these jeans. But I think denim is worth paying a little bit extra for if you're going to get the right right denim if that makes sense but yeah i love them i love the fit of them mark hayes sells these on lorraine very often because sarah from artichoke tells me and she said they just get hundreds of orders for them as soon as he shares them so yeah they're a nice pair of jeans anyway anyway let's get on with this unboxing i'll just set it up Look, sitting in the new chair, how about that? It's very comfortable and I've got arms to lean on. Yes, it's nice. Um, anyway, let's crack on. But before I do the beauty pie, I was sent some new top-ups from Saint Tropez. So this is the tan that I always use. I swear by this tan. It's foolproof because you can see the tan when you're applying it so you you don't get any bits left out or patches i've never had a bad result with this one this is the self tan express and uh yeah if you're looking for any tan ladies even just for your legs i totally recommend this i've tried lots of other tans this is the best one so that's that um and obviously a top up of my favourite tanning facial mist. Now I know a lot of you have bought this and I'm waiting to hear how are you getting on. Do you like it? Because there's barely a day goes by that I don't use this. I absolutely love it. It just 
gives a little bit of life to your face with no makeup on and it just provides a nice base I think it hides some of my imperfections um, pigmentation it just gives me a healthier look and I love it I will not be without this so that's the self tan uh, purity facial mist so check it out ladies and let me know how you're getting on I've been sent a new one the self tan purity um, bronzing water gel now I've not used it yet I did put a little bit on my arm a few days ago and it literally is like water going on your skin you can't see this going on and I remembered I looked at it a couple of hours and I thought that hasn't done anything so I was quite pleased that I hadn't marked my arm because I, I just wanted to see what the texture of this was like um, but it did it did tan me and I was quite surprised at how natural it looked so I think what I'm gonna do ladies is what uh, next week or so I'm going to tan one leg with this and the other leg, uh, the Self Tan Express. So it'll be interesting to see the differences. Yes, yeah, so I just wanted to give the heads up on them before I got stuck in. Um, now this Beauty Pie box, I have actually taken all the gubbins out. I've unwrapped it all. I've had this for a couple of weeks now. I've not used any of it apart from one item because I just couldn't wait to use it. Look, there is a little bit missing. This is the Un, excuse my French, Un Blade En Foray. Um, it's a deluxe body wash with skin softening glycerin, aloe juice, amber and sandalwood now i'm not a fan of floral fragrances i like anything musky amber my perfume is the original really old miss dior i love that and i wear another perfume by cult 51 but uh that's an online brand you wouldn't be able to go I don't think they sell in store unless you find their store in London. But yeah, I'm not a lover of uh, floral scents. And as soon as I smelled this, I thought that is just... I can't describe. It's so hard to describe what something smells like to a camera. But it's definitely not floral. It's just lovely. And look, I've been using that since I got it. And that's all that's gone out of the bottle. It really goes a long way. And it does make you, your skin feel soft as well. So super pleased with it already. If you haven't got your prescription yet, ladies, with Beauty Pie, then you need to check it out. Um, all of you regulars here will know by now how hooked I am on this Beauty <coughs> On this beauty pie stuff like uh, hang on the um, the collagen peptide cream I am just about to order another jar of this because look it's it's nearly empty oh traffic um, I do not want to be without this cream in my life I have thoroughly enjoyed this this is one of the most hydrating creams i've ever come across now you are supposed to use this at night i've used it mainly in the day i, I don't know i get up in the mornings I, I i use my facial devices and my skin always feels a little bit dehydrated so i've used this mainly during in the morning before i get ready you do have to put an SPF over the top if, you, if you're going to use this in the daytime. Um, but for me, it was worth every bit of that. You know, using two creams, wait for your moisturiser to sink in, 
then put your SPF on it has been a beautiful cream and a lot of you have said actually in different vlogs how well my skin has looked and it's it's got to be down to this because this is mainly what I use if you remember I'm way behind myself a couple of months ago I shared with you uh, a whole beauty regime what I use through the week and it, it's long overdue for me to start using other products and giving them a try so that I can give you the feedback and I've not changed anything I've carried on using what I said I was going to use and this was one of them but yeah we need we I need to get on board with that and share all the feedback from the items that I've used and then start a new lot of skincare because I've got a lot of new things to try and I want to share it with you so yes I must do that soon but very happy with that um, even though it's not in this unboxing what else have we got now I don't remember ordering this I think they've just popped this in but it's a lipstick it's magnetic but you get the case first and then you get the shade of lipstick which I thought was really cool because then you know there's not a waste in buying expensive packaging I thought this was a really good idea so you can just put whatever you want inside the bougie lip case um, yeah so I've got to work out how to let me tell you what shade this is on the bottom and it's called nothing on now I've got a pencil as well so this is obviously a neutral set that they've sent I didn't ask for these I've just sent them to me yeah, so it's quite brownie but I'll have a try on of that it is very soft I've already sampled it Let's do a longer one, then you can see what sort of shade that is. But we'll, we'll have a try on of that next week. And then you put your lipstick, uh, how would you do this? I presume you take the lid off. Oh yeah, it just sits in there. And there you go. So you could, that's actually very matte. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not a great lover of matte lipsticks. But I love this idea, where you put any lipstick you like inside. Very good. And you know, that, I don't know how much the lipsticks are. They're most probably about seven pounds, something like that. This is the beauty of the beauty pie. If you remember, everything is just so cheap. And I'm so hooked, there are items now that I will be re repurchasing like the collagen cream um the under eye super luminous under eye cream it's just amazing uh what else have we got uh hair bands you can never have enough hair bands these are silk ones and you get a pack of six i think it is yeah pack of six and I liked these because they're neutral. They're neutral, perfect for my hair. You're barely going to see them. I always top up on hair bands when the weather's going to get warm because I like to wear my hair up a lot when it gets too hot. So I thought I'd better stock up and I got those. Um, that's the lipstick and the lip pencil. Right, now, another part of the youth bomb. I need to put my glasses on. Double Retinol Action Skin Overhaul Serum. Yeah, this youth bomb range, uh, I'm so pleased with it. So, I thought I'm going to try that one. Yeah. Nice packaging. 
Oh, it's yellow. It comes out yellow. Very similar to the um, Trini London cream. Doesn't smell like Trini London. Yeah. So that will be an item that I'll be using in my new skincare. I don't know how often it advises you to use this. Let's have a little read. It says apply every night, let it sink in and then apply a moisturiser over the top. So you would use this and then use the Youth Bomb um, Collagen. Yeah, so they would make a nice pairing. Personally, I don't like to use retinols every night. I would use this maybe two or three times in the week because I find that they're just too drying for me. I will give it a go though. Of uh, I will give it a go though of uh, pairing them up together. But everyone is raving about the Youth Bomb series. I've been happy with what I've had so far. So I spotted everyone was enjoying this on the uh, socials and I thought, right, I'm going to give that a go. Right, um, another one. This is makeup. And look, that's a lovely bit of packaging, a nice compact. This is, yeah, it's a highlighter. Cheap as chips, obviously I bought this mainly for my eyes. I'm not a lover of um, too much highlight on the face, not on not on my old skin. But yeah, that is a beautiful shade. Just a nice little glisten on the eyes. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, it's lighter than what I've got on. Should use a brush really. Yeah, I like that. Always like light on the eyes because it makes them pop out more. Yeah, that's nice. It's lighter than what I've got on. Yes, look forward to using that. Um, what else have we got? Japan Fusion Pure Transforming Cleanser. Gent excuse Bo's noises by the way. She's What are you doing? A yawning. Are you finished? Thank you. Right. Japan Fusion Pure Transforming Cleanser. Gentle and traceless perfect makeup cleansing with antioxidant, vitamin C and grape polyphenols. Ooh. I've not tried any of the Japan Fusion yet. So I look forward to this. And I'm actually quite low on cleansers. There you go. I think, uh, is it Lydia Min on the vlogger? She's really pleased with Japan Fusion. Doesn't smell of anything. That pleases me. So I would imagine, is this a foaming? Massage a small amount onto the face and neck to remove your makeup and di dissolve surface oils. Add warm water and it will turn milky and then rinse well. Yeah, that sounds good for me. Oh, I'm looking forward to uh, sharing all this with you ladies. Thought I must get that done because I want to use it as well. I'm looking forward to trying all those pieces. Anyway. This vlog is getting a little bit long, isn't it? So I hope you've enjoyed it. Have you had a cup of tea while you was watching? Um, I hope it's not been too boring. It's a little bit all over the place. But my first week of being 60, it's uh, oh, 60. Apparently you get free travel pass for London if when you turn 60. You just apply to the Gov site. So I'm gonna be looking into that. I get bowel screening now as well because I've just been sent my first kit to do that. 
What a perk, ladies, eh? Bell screening. Mm. Nice. But worth doing, all, all the same. Anyway, I'll leave you here. I'll, I'm going to start on that gardening, so the next vlog will be starting. The next weekly vlog you will be in the garden, hopefully, in some bright weather. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give a thumbs up, ladies, and love to you all. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>